All right, what we're about to do now is a hands-off landing for the second time. The first time I didn't believe it, so we're gonna do it again. And when I mean hands-off, we're literally gonna take our hands off the controller and let the Hawk Sky design land itself. Now keep in mind today is zero wind or very little wind, but this is what happens if, this is why it's such a good beginner's airplane. But it, I mean, it's just floating. I haven't touched anything. <laughs> it's still going. Let it. So our hands off the sticks. This is hands off coming towards us. No, no controls. Hands on the controls. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't even touch it. That was hands off landing. I did not touch it. That's better than your landing switch touching it. Yeah, tell me about it. Deal with the Hawk Sky landing itself. There's a lot of so some planes that do that, but they have gyros and they're very expensive or very complicated to, to hook up and install. So the Hawk Sky was a stock plug and play airplane, and the wings and the center of gravity and the way it's designed is what lands itself. So if you get, you know, you're trying to come in and land it and you're trying to be uh, your first couple of flights, you just literally you cut throttle and it lands itself. Right, so you're gonna just get it to a point. I'm gonna where... get it pointed, and then I'm gonna let go. So it's not gonna turn left or right. This it's is just me a... turning. This is me turning. This is me turning. Getting it level. Now I'm level. Okay, now I'm hands off. off. That's so hands off, hands off, hands going off. Going a little hot, but that was it. All right, you know what? I don't, I think I saw your hands in the shadow. Let's do it again. Okay, yeah. See, I'll I'll put my hands up in the shadow. All right. So we're gonna have the plane land in our shadow so we can see your hands, and there's nobody else yeah, here. I'm hug. Well, there is, but they don't count. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna bring it out wide again. Yeah, so all right. line it up. Let's say I'm I'm a beginner. What am I gonna do now? All I'm doing is slight left aileron. Alright, cutting all right, the so, power. Alright, here we go. Can you see it? Yep, I got everything. Right, now we're gonna line it up. And I'm off the stick now. Unbelievable. Right, here's Jim, he's not uh, how would you call yourself when you come to flying, Jim? Not too good of an expert, but... Not too good of an expert? You mean beginner-ish? Yeah. Alright. He's a beginner. He's definitely a beginner. Alright. We're going to launch you for you, or you want him to do it. Alright. What we're going to do, we're going to have you land it without power. All you're going to do is redirect. This, don't hit the switch, so that's the throttle kill, okay? Uh-huh. So that's throttle right now, if you hit that. Well, actually, I got to turn it off. About half throttle, a little over half throttle, take off. Okay, you ready? Fly around, fly around. Yeah, fly around, get used to it. Cause that's the easy part, right? Relatively speaking, when it comes to flying airplanes. So when you land it, we want you to cut throttle. Cut, cut throttle right now. And don't do anything else with the sticks. All you gotta do is aileron left and right, which means turn it left and right. Right, right thumb. Landing. Well, you're gonna let it land. You're not gonna touch elevator or touch, or touch throttle. But you gotta keep, make sure you land it. There you go. Now remember, you gotta glide it in all the way. You don't have to do any rudder or any elevator and any throttle. So all you're doing is turn it, right? Yep, that's it. Dang, man, you look like a pro! All right, so we gave it to. You gonna land it? Yeah. Give it to an intermediate beginnerish guy. All right. So you just redirect. Hands off throttle. Hands off uh, elevator. Right. Redirect. I think you saved me there. <laughs> okay. Even though we told Jim not to touch the elevator, you can tell here he'd give a little up elevator since it was coming close to us. But you notice if she gave the up elevator, the plane kind of did a little stall. So that's why we say, do not touch the sticks, let the plane land itself. Let's see the bottom of that, how it looks after about 15, 20 landings. That's, oh, that's perfect. And that's just stock, no uh, tape running or anything. Last test, let's, let's, that way we, everyone can believe it. Let's line it up, you know, redirect it, and then turn the control on the ground, and then we'll walk away. Well, yeah, yeah, don't want to aim it towards the trees. All right, so there it is. The control is on the ground. The ultimate. No, don't touch it. I'm not touching it. Hey, that's not bad for the control off the ground. No. At going uphill. All right, coming on the scene here. We're gonna open that canopy up and prove there's no gyros or anything. All right, just some dirt. 
some dirt, some weeds, and my receiver, which is the AR 6115E. Without getting too technical, there's two major reasons why the Hawkeye V2 will land itself. It has to do with wing design. The first tip is notice how the wing tips flare up at the end. This is the secret of the self-leveling, meaning when you turn and bank and go left or right, the Hawkeye V2 will want to self-level, keeping it straight. The other factor is the wing size. The Hawkeye V2 has a larger air area of wings, keeping it in the air longer at slower speeds, therefore making it easier to land. Hey, we hope you liked this video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. It gives us more incentive to go out and do some formation flying and some build videos and even some videos with the thrust and amps and power stuff for you technical guys. Thanks for watching. This is Basil with Grayson Hobby. And be sure to visit graysonhobby.com for all your RC needs.